All right, YouTube, what you just saw was um, me working on my squats. My squats are actually out of the main three lifts, the, the powerlifting lifts, the only three lifts that's in powerlifting, the bench, the squat, and the, uh, the flat bench, the squat, and the deadlift. And some people do sumo, I do conventional. Um, I'm not really a sumo guy. Um, I've anybody that's been watching my channel from the beginning or that goes back and watch my beginning videos my first videos know that I speak well I spoke a lot about my car accident um, it's been over a year ago it's been a while but I, I had stopped lifting for like seven months and I probably wasn't squatting for a year that's why my squat is lagging um, I'm working on my squat right now. I'm just working on depth and form, um, getting that back. My confidence also, you know, I'm not going to just jump back into um, squatting X amount of pounds. I mean, I used to squat, like, of course, anybody knows anything about li anything about lifting knows that uh, most of the time when somebody squats and, they're d and they deadlift, their squat and deadlift are usually close. My squat was actually like right behind my deadlift. My deadlift was in the mid fives um, and my squat was like almost five. So, I mean, my squat was still lagging behind my deadlift. But um, that's probably one reason why my deadlift is coming up a lot faster than my squat. I have more confidence and I'm better at the deadlift than I am at the squat. But it's about time for me to put the squat on the front burner and start squatting more often than I do anything else. Um, start squatting more often than I do anything else. So what I was doing there was squatting beltless and squatting until I feel like, okay, this is enough weight to where, and that last squat, that 275 was, I didn't hit depth like I wanted to. Um, I didn't hit my depth sure that flash isn't on but uh, I didn't hit my depth because I'm driving I don't want that flash being in other people's faces and police gonna pull you over and this and that and the third uh I didn't hit my depth because I had got into a, like a long conversation in between the 200 and whatever I did before then to the 275 the 275 I could have hit it with depth um go back to my videos I did three something with depth on my earlier videos and I weighed less than I weigh now so but I was just trying to see what was comfortable. And then I'm gonna do, the plan is, I'm gonna do the squat every day challenge. Um, I'm probably not gonna record it every time, but every time I do a workout, I'm gonna squat at the end of it. Light, lightweight, I'm gonna take 60% of what I'm comfortable with doing for one rep. I'm gonna take 60% of that and I'm gonna do it for reps until I'm more confident on the squat, until my form is better on the squat, into my depth and everything I'm playing with. If you see the, if you, if you watch the video, if you watch this video again, you will see um, that my stance was a lot wider on my second and third. Um, see, I'm still working where I need to place my feet. A lot of people could try to give you tips of how they do it. Me and your bodies are two different bodies. You see what I'm saying? I don't care if you got a 900 pound squat, I don't want your tips, all right? <laughs> Not that I don't listen to anybody, but I'm just saying some people just nitpicking and just, you know, if you're not on my level with the deadlift or the bench press, I do not want your um, advice on the squat because most likely when I was where I was at on the squat, I was probably stronger and better at than you are. You know, you can show me better than you can tell me. You know what I'm saying? Post a video. You, If you want to give me advice, post a video. You doing what you say you do. And let me see your depth and all of that. And at the end of the day, I guarantee you I was better than it than you are if you're a hater. You know what I'm saying? I want the best in the world, but I'm just saying I'm better than every hater out there because usually people are hating to compensate compensate for the fact that they suck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, facts are facts, man. But I'm posting my weaknesses with my strengths. Uh, it doesn't matter to me because... You know, it gives me a chance to show you growth. It shows my pro process if you bear with me and stick with me and stay tuned and, and watch it happen. You see what I'm saying?
the things you see me doing now, you'll see me doing double in, you know, in, in not that much of a time. Yeah, if you're a beginner and you, let's say you get up to 275 on a squat, you're probably going to get, I'm probably going to get into my threes and fours quicker than you because I've been there. Muscle, muscle memory, the strength is there. It's just the technique and the form isn't there. You see what I'm saying? You know, I gotta, I gotta reteach myself. You know, and I gotta teach myself how to teach other people. You know, because at the end of the day, I mean, you can look at like Michael Jordan, the best basketball player in the world, arguably. You think he'll make the best coach in the world? You know, maybe. I don't think so. You know why I don't think so? Because Phil Jackson was the best coach in the world. But he wasn't the best basketball player. He played basketball, too, back in the days. You know, but if you go by who has the most rings and call him the best basketball player, I say Phil Jackson. He has every time every time uh, Jordan got a ring, every time Kobe got a ring, Shaq got a ring, or whoever else. He didn't, How many championship teams has he coached? And every time they got a ring, he got a ring. So if you go about who got the most rings, even though he wasn't the best basketball player, I ain't going to say he sucked because he was in the NBA. You got to be good to be in the NBA. You're not going to even make it in there without being good. But, <laughs> yeah, um, he's the best player if you're going by rings. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, that's not my point. My point was you could be the greatest at anything and still not know how to teach it. I have to teach myself how to teach because I got a real unorthodox way of um, – everything I do compared to other people. You know, some people might only bench on Mondays and only do this on Tuesdays. I don't go by any of that. You know, just like my diet, I don't go by, um, I don't go by, uh, I don't go by the traditional ways of doing anything. Even with my cutting, I don't follow any else, anybody else's cutting protocol. I've been doing that uh, my fasting and all that. I've been doing fasting and all of that for about, I've been lifting for about six years. So most of the things that I've been doing, like fasting, I've been doing that for five years on and off. This year, I did it the whole year during my bulk and during my cut. But uh, I'm going to do also, I'm going to do a physique update every two weeks. I started my cut, not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before. So, I mean, I'm probably going to do another, I'm probably going to do a physique update before then. But I'm going to do a physique update every two weeks. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm going to explain step by step of what I'm doing. Because I'm making progress already. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I know initially, I mean, most of the weight that you lose initially is going to be water weight. Which, that's not what I'm, that's not what you should be shooting for. If you're trying to get lean, your culprit, your enemy is body fat. You're trying to lower your body fat percentage. I don't even talk about body fat percentage that much because, you know, how many of us have accurately tested our body fat percentages? So I used to talk about body fat. Yeah, I'm trying to get down to 4%. I'm trying to get down to 5 But have you had a DEXA scan or anything else that's accurate? Those bathroom scales and those handhelds, even the pinch calibers, they might be better than handhelds and, and bathroom scales, but even the pinch calibers are not accurate. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't accurately tested your body fat, keep it real with yourself. You're just guessing. And if you think these uh, uh, devices aren't ac uh, accurate, your guessing is way off. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how good you are at this. I don't care how ripped you have been or how much weight you have lost. Your guessing is not going to be accurate, bro. Or sis, whoever. You know what I'm saying? But... Stick with me, a lot to come. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Hey, man, I got a lot in store. This summer is gonna be epic. If you seen my transformation video uh, or, or the video I posted uh, called I'll Get You Right, um, those footages is like from three or four years ago. I'm six years in now. I did have that seven month lapse, but I'm six years in now. And my last year that I did a cut, 2000 and, yeah, the summer of 2018, I was, that trumps anything you've seen on my uh, transformation video, by far. And I'm back at it real crazy, real hard. You know what I'm saying?
So this cut is going to be, this summer is mine. Mark my words, this summer is mine. Peace.